Grafen nehmen wir gar nicht. Ganz in Grafen. Vielleicht in Jordi. Okay, these people. 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 So we had the privilege of working for the last two weeks with owner and co and founder of Cape Bone Studio Entertainment and Studio Internet Cafe. So it's basically for the first of all, first of all, and the, the the amount of and we were, we had the privilege of working with him and he taught us a lot of things and taught us that you need to be inspired from it, you need to work hard and actually give out the community and be the best that you could and, and provide opportunities with, for, um, for your community and that's what he managed to do. Um, so the, the agenda is that he will give you a breakdown on the, the general information in the background behind the city of the business and we basically, we located or, or identified these different operators, these um, challenges and solutions of the financial um, aspects, marketing, vision and opportunities. Operations, sorry. So, Cape Boy was established in the year 2018 by our entrepreneur, Sir Jago. He initiated this business venture as an opportunity to make a difference in his community and also for job creation reasons. Um, his business venture consists of an internet <coughs> cafe that has been operated from his house that is situated in Philippi, like they can see. Um, our entrepreneur recognizes the high demand of certain resources and lack of access to them throughout the community. He has made it his motive to provide such facilities to those community members in an effort to improve the conditions of those without access. Um, Sinatema's main motive is youth drive and we want to provide job opportunities and computer training development program. Uh, to start off, Sinatema transfer, transformed this living space into a current, uh, what currently stands as an internet cafe and it consists currently of four computers and clients can, clients can make use of printing, faxing, uh, internet usage, uh, as well as scanning. Okay, so next up is the financial. So these were the, the main challenges or areas of development that we discovered with Cinetema. So he, he was not able to, because they are of the amount of, of customers coming on a daily basis, not able to keep a, a a constant tra tracking of the individual services that is of that he offered. So he would at the end of the day he would total up all the, the, the amount of income he made for the day but not specify what service he actually which service generated which amount. Uh, the other one was there was no like uh, the there was no monthly reports tracking overall sales and expenses so he was not able to do what what tying in hand what was Segmenting the, the various things that they offered with the service and the amount that was um, offered from came in. Um, he was not able to track all sales and expenses for each month, so he was not able to forecast and make pro in proper estimation and projection of where his business could possibly go to. Um, and the other thing was that savings also. So, savings is important for you as a business because when there's a rainy day, and for example, in this case, a piece would break down. There was there wouldn't be any thing, any cash on hand to pay for repairs. So we had, we had to go out and make loans or small loans by people that he knew. So we created three main tools to address some of the challenges that he faced financially. First of all, is a daily service ledger. So this is meant to be um, up on his computer at all times. It's very easy to use. Uh, there's a little drop down menu to specify what service it is, and it can be easily updated with the addition of new services. Um, and then it'll calculate the total sales in that third table, which will help him uh, easily fill out his monthly <coughs> income statement. And then there's also a place to uh, record any expenses that wouldn't typically fall under the general um, fixed expenses or variable expenses that he would expect. And that also totals in the corner as well. So, speaking of the income statement, this is um, meant to be pretty easy to use. He just has to put the total sales number, and then we have his variable costs, his fixed costs, 
clothes that pays his expenses, um, gives him his profit, and then um, includes a tax, which he doesn't have to pay yet, but he asks us to include uh, for when he will in the future. And at the bottom, we also have an area for um, to again encourage the savings aspect of it. So there are four different options uh, based on different percentages, and that's just to encourage it's based directly off the profits he makes. So he has an idea that he's not putting too much in savings, and it's easy to understand and control. And the idea is maybe he could start, you know, with a smaller five, ten percent, and then as he um, has more income and more profits, he can up that. So kind of going along with it, this is another tool we created. Um, as an internet cafe and with so many ideas for the future, he will need to expand the amount of the capital and equipment he has. So this is an equipment savings plan. Um, all he has to do is put in the cost of the equipment, and then I'll give him, again, four different options, uh, different time periods. And this is just help to help him conceptualize what it would take to save for a piece of equipment on its own. Sometimes it can seem like the only way to get a big piece of equipment is to go through outside funding. And this is to encourage him that he can do it himself with right, the right discipline. Okay, so with um, marketing, we um, noticed that uh, Cape Warren Studio had one main source of uh, social media. It was primarily Facebook. Um, as a developing business, um, Cape Warren Studio had challenges with marketing itself with um, some areas of improvement was uh, inconsistent, um, inconsistent um, posting as well as much older logos. So to an alter alternative for um, having one primary uh, social media, we provided a website as you can see here um, that includes, yes, this is, this is lovely work. Um, so it's the website is a more concentrated area where um, Cape Horn Studio can really delve into their values and what they're about. One of the main um, tools that you'll be able to use is a new contact section whereby a customer can put their name, their email address, and any inquiry that they have. So it benefits both the, both the customer and Cape Horn Studio by having a direct um, contact situation. Um, one uh, suggestion that we had was creating a, a business WhatsApp. We had some complications in implementing that, but that would be able to um, have a direct form as well as this contact information, but having sift through all the personal and business aspects can get very tedious. So by having a business WhatsApp, you can really consolidate and concentrate where your information is going. So with regards to the vision of k Studio Entertainment, we as a group try to assist our entrepreneur to minimize his focus point. Uh, we found that the area of development was that our entrepreneur had too many ideas and we found that uh, he struggled to be able to define the current state of his business or any concrete plans for the future. So it wasn't an easy, easy having a focus point with different ideas going on with him. So our entrepreneur didn't kind of have a solid foundation. So the ideas ran from photography to team tidy, DJ facilities and much more. So to simplify things, the main focus is the internet cafe at this point. So for the internet cafe, we um, had four um, major focal points. Um, this is, the first one was creating a vision statement um, provided for the community through opportunity and resources. Having a vision statement can create a focal point for the company. When a customer or anyone is seeing your vision statement, it's just a little piece of what you are. Um, we updated the mission statement. Um, Cape Horn Studio had a very clear and um, significant uh, mission statement, so we just had to tweak a little bit, just consolidating the form, the formal core values. Uh, thirdly, we had a research and funding pitch. We know that in the future that Cape Horn Studio will be strategizing for funding or budgeting, so we gave a couple examples as to um, for any future investments. And the fourth is goal setting. So we used um, SMART goals, which is an acronym for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based goals. So in the future, for example, if he wants to save for new equipment, you know, he can see what is best applicable to him, whether it's printing, scanning, and so forth. Okay, so in terms of operations, we have come across uh, three areas of development. The first one was that Sinetia Mazarin have store operating hours. We suggested that you should come up with operating hours and then charge a late fee for people who come after hours. And the second one was that he has less equipment compared to his competitors. So we 
have, instead of him going out and borrowing money in order to purchase the equipment, we, come, we came up with the equipment having plan as my colleague here, Elizabeth uh, Isabel, sorry, has uh, explained under the financial. And the third one is that uh, he feels that he, uh, his competitors have, have, have a better design and atmosphere uh, than his internet cafe. So we thought that he should reconsider uh, adding, re redesigning and adding a bit more color to make it colorful and bright. So we want to end with this quote by Lavoy Yorani, a successful South African entrepreneur we heard from a few days ago. Um, he said his number one tip for beginning entrepreneurs would be passion is everything, start small and think big. And we think this quote really applies to our entrepreneurs in Femba. He has a passion to help his community through creating opportunity and new services. And he has big dreams and visions on how to get there. So we encourage him to be confident in starting small and where he's at now and trust that the process will work and he'll um, soon be successful and big. And yeah, we've learned a lot from you, a very inspiring individual. Get up, you know, just get up.